Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in brief about the Sol Gel method. Sol Gel method is good example for bottom up approach used for the preparation of nanomaterials. Nanomaterials means the materials having the dimension in the range of 1 to 100 nanometers. Especially this Sol Gel method is highly useful for the preparation of metal oxide nanomaterials. So in this sol gel method one should know what is meant by a sol. Sol means it is a colloidal solution or suspension of particles in a solvent. Most probably employed solvent may be alcohol or water. Gel means it is a semi rigid mass that is obtained when the solvent from sol is evaporated let us see how a sol will be converted into a gel initially let us consider a solution so in general Sol means it may be a colloidal solution or molecular suspension. So it consists of very finely divided particles. So it is a good example for sol. Whenever the solvent is evaporated, that means by the process of dehydration, the particles present in the colloidal solution will form a continuous network structure. So, during dehydration process, what happens? The particles left behind the colloidal solution will begin to join together. in a continuous network so whenever a colloidal solution is dehydrated then what happens the solvent undergoes evaporation with the result all the particles present in the colloidal solution will start forming a continuous network like structure and that can be called as a gel. So in this way by the evaporation of the solvent it results in the formation of a gel. Let us see what type of chemical changes takes place during the conversion of a colloidal solution into a gel. Especially Sol gel method is a chemical technique which involves two steps. First step being hydrolysis followed by condensation process. So Sol gel method involves two steps. In the first step it undergoes hydrolysis. And in the second step it undergoes condensation. So let us consider the colloidal solution MOR. So when it undergo hydrolysis it results in the formation of MOH ROH type solutions. So in the second step 
एम ओ और कंडेंसेस विथ एम ओ हेच एंड देन इट रिजल्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ऑक्सो लिंकेज बिटवीन द मेटल्स सो एस्पेली थ्रू दिस सॉल जेल मेथड इट ईज पॉजिबल टू प्रिपेर मेटल ऑक्साइड नैनो मेटीरियल दट मीन्स द टू मेटल आइटम्स विल बी जॉइंड टूगेदर थ्रू ऑक्सो लिंकेज और समटाइम्स दे मे बी जॉइंड टूगेदर बाई दी हाइड्रो ऑक्सो लिंकेज सो आफ्टर दि कंडेसेशन प्रोसेस् completely the liquid will be evaporated the liquid phase can be completely evaporated from the gel gel means it is a semi rigid mass so still it contains liquid phase so for the complete removal of the liquid from the gel it should be evaporated through drying process followed by calcination then it results in the formation of dry nano materials here no liquid phase is present and these nano particles are having very good mechanical properties coming to the advantages of sol gel method through this sol gel method it is possible to obtain uniform and small size nano particles especially it is possible to get multi component systems and it is also possible to get new microscope structures even at low temperatures this is all about the sol gel method if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day